Hello and welcome back to Larfat Gaming Plays Davidi Richardson Hast Edition. I'm your host, Larfat. In this Davidi Richardson Hast Edition walkthrough video, we're going to get another elemental room, then we're going to visit the Troll King Cave. After all that, we'll finish up some uh, quests that does involve it and does not involve with that too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be update and more. Now, I'm going to uh, talk about one thing real uh, quick. You're going to need to visit Mardino's lair. Yeah, that lair in order to uh, have access to the cave. I put the link in the description. So, what we're going to do first is uh, get another elemental room. It is time to go to the end of time. I forgot to do it last video and besides the time constraints. So, this time I'm going to go ahead and select the earth room. I salute you, my master. Other elementals lie in wait until, with a word, you command them to action. Which one of them, pray, has your preference? And that is your final choice? Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. That is our final choice. Thy will be done. The reason I pick Earth is simple. It is the Geo and Witchcraft Shop. Which the Witchcraft Shop I will definitely need later on, so I'm going to start all these events now. Rocks and forest. This is a plane worthy of an Earth Elemental, all right. A kernel of serenity amid endless chaos. Dearest guardians, how I rejoice at the sight of your growth, both in power and in prowess. And yet I cannot help but wonder, will it ever be enough? Will you craft yourselves once more into the warriors that you were? Oh, in the end you are like infants still. Infants that would perish with a broken whale had they not their mother's milk to suckle. But you always were like children, weren't you? As are we all in the eyes of the gods. And yet they set an impossible task before you, then blamed you when you failed. How foolish even the divines can be, how lacking in compassion. I do feel like a child, being kept in the dark about so many things. I guess we'll have to find more Starstone and grow up. The spirit of Father Nature came to me in a dream last night, and he told me to welcome you. Can't you tell? I'm the universe. You're the universe. We're all the universe. It's a beautiful thing, to be sure. I noticed you were bringing this place in close contact with the spirit of nature, and I thought to myself, that's where I belong. Thanks for putting me up. With utmost pleasure, my friend, the Earth's knowledge is meant to be shared. May the Earth's vibrations rock you. Now that I have access to the uh, Geo and of course the Witchcraft Shop, our uh, next stop will be Lucella Forest. So we're going to go into the Troll King's Cave without actually uh, going to Circle and use Mardino's secret file. So let's do that now. A dead end, a troll statue, grey gold. Yes, but I think there is more to it than meets the eye. This what happens if you do not break the illusion. You cannot go uh, through, so I'm going to tell you all how to do it. You're going to need to uh, do is uh, go ahead, go into Mardino's lair, grab the secret file. Once you get through the combat of uh, that, then come back here, stand in the center, 
and go ahead and read it just like I do. So once you read it, the illusion will definitely break. So I'm going to do all that. I will return after. And with that, it's time to go spelunking for Tenebrium. Assuming this Maradino actually knew his way around a spellbook, that is. The illusion's gone, so I'm gonna go inside, talk to a rat afterwards, or talk to a little troll. I'm gonna fail the RPS check and get into trouble. Quick! Do what I do. Use the passage all the way to the left of the cave. That'll keep you safe from these big bruises. For a little while, anyway. I can flip under the palisade, but I guess someone your size will have to bust it down. <laughs> well, I'll be a son of a troll. It's one of those big fairies with our friends. What are they called again? Hairs? No. Herrings? No. Humans! That's it. A human! That means you must be looking for Maragina. No other of you fairies has been here since he... Go ahead! Go ahead! <laughs> Go right along. I'm certain you'll be treated just like he was. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Who did want to spoil the surprise? Nah, you don't like surprises. Well, here's the truth for you. There's only death for you in this cave, just like there was for Maradino. Now die, fairy. With that little nuisance out of the way, let me tell you all how to actually uh, pull this off. You see, the king's guarded by his troll guards, and the troll guards do hit hard, and they buff themselves up and use earth magic. That's annoying. Yeah, in other words, oil slick. Anyways, you want to do is separate them. The rat suggested the left side you should start. That's what I'm going to do. Try to pull all the guards, at least like two or three per battle. So I'm going to do all that, get the guards away from the king, so I just only face the king. I'll return after this is done. Careful friends, the great, beautiful trolls of this cave have cursed it with knee-weakening magic. You and I, madam, as the saying goes, differ greatly in our conception of beauty. Nevertheless, your warning stands. Evoy go king nor the only one who cared.
creatures are crushing. I feel better already. No glory in this death. Danny finally forget dark past. I needed that. You always be a good guard. I go to sweet relief. Next, fresh air, sunshine, small creatures for crushing.
feel my electric fury! to the fray once more. Good news is I wiped out most of the guards, so I only have one guard left. He's usually the north side. He guards the ore, which is a good thing. So let me explain about the Troll King and how to defeat him. Now the Troll King is a much more stronger opponent. You need to do is lock this uh, Troll King down. He does oil slick, busts himself up, hits like a Mack truck. He will also call for help for any guards in the area. That's why you want to wipe out all the guards. And in order to uh, pull it, pull him, I'm going to show you how to actually uh, do it. So just follow me. You'll definitely uh, be able to pull this off. This is the direction that the rat should tell you to actually uh, start to pull. Now, I have some very powerful magic. Yes, everyone. That's correct. I have uh, some nice ice spells. I start out the battle with one of those uh, very powerful ice spells or your most powerful magic. After that, try to uh, lock down the Troll King by crowd control, freezing, stunning, whatever. If you can do that, then the Troll King will definitely die. So I'm going to go ahead and start the fight. Sing 
of your entrails. Slate Barrage! This day we fight, this day we win! The champion! Yeah, not the only one who can count. Me, Twee, Tree, Fear. Well, it's not so hard. As thrilling as the stage, though not half so bloody. Wherever you go, there I am. If I'd be a good god, I'd bridge to the next time. Confound it! Sunshine, small creature. That is a very simple battle. The Troll King died. And my guy slipped. That's alright. So uh, anyways, it's time to get some looting rights going. Oh wow. That is a lot of drops. He also drops his own special Morningstar. I could probably say use axes. Until you get the Sword of Planes, I think it is. That's one of the most powerful one-handed uh, weapons ever. In the entire game. Which you should craft at 20 or 21. That's just my advice. So anyhow, let me uh, go ahead and grab all this stuff too. Grab some of these nice rings. Yeah, let's grab that. Grab that. Oh man. I will uh, definitely identify this towards the end of the video. And there's an axe kit part uh, to the head. I don't know what those are, but you know what? That's fine with me. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab all this too. Like gold cup. Okay, that is nice. Yeah, this room has a lot of uh, gold items. Take full advantage of it. You're not going to come back here. Unless you're in dire need of that ore. Which, by the way, I am going to go ahead and clear out like crazy. Yeah, okay, that chest had nothing in it. I'm just checking, make sure uh, there's no uh, nothing else to loot. Yeah, double check, triple check everything in this uh, area. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the uh, this ore is at. The uh, one that causes rot if you did not complete the Troll's Bounty quest. Now, if you're still on that side quest... The uh, person with the uh, sack that you got from Brandon should be one mining. Now, because I already did that side quest, I'm immune to the, that, the dangers of it. So I could definitely uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, go crazy on the uh, ore. Or at least leave mine one up just to show you all uh, where it's at. However, we cannot do that yet due to the fact there's someone who's actually guarding the ore. We're going to go ahead and just make it uh, rain. I should say give them some hell. I'll be back. Contains me. All right, 
stick my next tail in your blood! All the trolls in the cave is now dead and yeah they're uh, gone it is uh, time to go ahead and finish up the looting yeah I might as well uh, make some money here let's be honest this is a great area you get some serious cash so let's uh, make sure we uh, definitely loot everything up before we leave like I always say we're not gonna come back here and that's the truth unless you're in dire need of that ore which there's four of them I got enough of those actually from the mines yeah, I was smart on uh, that big time. All right, that's a good uh, ore there. So we got one. I just want to show you that. Now I'm just uh, double checking before I definitely leave the uh, Troll King's Cave. Yeah, we're not going to come back here. I'm always repeating that. So anyhow, let's uh, go ahead and make sure uh, we grab everything on the way out. I almost forgot about that. My only disappointment is I wish you could loot up the uh, piles of gold, but I guess not. We're going to go ahead and find uh, someone that's from a certain video, a certain over an hour video. That's the hint I'm going to give you, so let's do all that now. It seems for his final feat, the wizard Maradino learned what happens when you cross the Troll King. The final lesson from our mysterious teacher. Now tread lightly, will you? There are plenty more stakes that might inspire old King Gungir. That's what happened to our friend Mardino. That's correct. He's gone. Yep, he's dead. He's fertilizer. He's toast. Let me go ahead and grab that before I get the heck out of here. There, and let me uh, teleport back towards the Goblin Village. Now, I'm going to go ahead and complete another side quest. You see, these uh, two trolls are guarding the entrance to the Phantom Forest. I'm going to go ahead and tell them the wonderful news. And plus, get a Steam Achievement. Hmm, seems like these trolls have been busy of late. They must have been powerful indeed to overcome so many. Orcs and humans, both. Look! One of the alien aspect approaches! Go on, my boy! State the ancient demand! Ah, uh, um... A tall troll. Well nigh correct, my son, but not quite. Um, a uh, troll, troll. You come very close in your approximation of the venerable bit, my boy, but a tiny flaw distorts it still. Tap, tap. Troll, troll! Capital, my son. Most excellent. I'm very proud of you, indeed. Now then, dearest wanderer of Lucula's leaf-strewn lanes, you have heard our inviolable command. Pay us, trolls, the toll that is our prerogative, and the bridge shall be yours to cross. I am Bridgekeeper Archibald, and this sweet cherub is my dear son, Amadeus. 
I'm in charge of his education and will see to it that one day he shall become the greatest bridge keeper ever to have voiced the hallowed tenet. Troll toll, yes, so he shall. So he shall indeed. Ask them and I shall answer. Those clubbed unfortunates over yonder, they did not pay the toll, Traveller. And to be clubbed, I'm afraid, is the fate that indubitably befalls those who do not heed the infrangible doctrine that is troll toll. The king is dead? You have slain him? But that means... That means I am now the king of all trolls. You have given me the throne, human. With gold and gifts, I thank thee. Now, pardon us. Now, pardon us. We'll be on our way to greener, or perhaps more golden pastures. The bridge is yours. Now, do be gallant, Amadeus, and bid our friend good day. Have a nice day, sir. That is how you open the way to the Phantom Forest. I didn't want to kill the Fire Sun Troll Duel. Besides, you uh, want to do first is do the Troll King's Cave. Once you uh, do that, kill the Troll King. Then you visit our buddy here with his son and tell him the wonderful news. The other alternative is straight up combat or paying the toll. Which I didn't want to do it. Besides, the Troll King, the new one, and his son will now reap in the piles of gold. Unfortunately, he won't have any guards because I wiped him out. Now, for the next part of the video, I'm doing the entire Roy's Meangery. Yeah, it's a side quest. You must have Pet Pal. Towards the end, there's a Bold versus Cautious Choice. I'll uh, go over that. I decided to make a save in case I uh, seriously messed up. I don't want to mess up my uh, progress. So, I'm going to start this entire side quest. I'll return when it's done. Howdy. Lovely day for a romp through the forest, ain't it? Ha! Like hell. Goblins round here swarm as thick as flies round my cattle's asses. Put an axe in my bodyguard's face, one of them did. Right where his big drunken nose used to be. So, you wish to partake in a polite little parlay about our respective prospects, purposes, and expectations in life, do you? Rotten, cotton-picking nonsense, that. I'm Roy. I'm in the animal trade. And instead of knocking back cheap rye in Silver Glen, I'm stuck in a friggin' forest surrounded by totem-worshipping savages that want to use my privates for target practice. There. Now you know it all. Oh, before they come back and decide to our my latest set of merchandise. Joy to hurt them, that lot, until they crap all over your shoes, that is. Won't cost me fortunes on Boot Black's wages much longer, though. Bought them for cheap from Bursher back in the city, and I'm about to sell them dearly indeed in Sacred Stone. Full of lunatics, that place, or so I'd been told. They'll slice these beasts from ear to ear the moment they can get their hands on them. Use the blood in rituals or some such. Lunatics, right? Matt, must you? No Thanks. kidding. Ferocious as a hungry mountain lion, that lot. With swords and spears for talent. Donnie and I must have adventured too far north. I'm just gonna hang low until I can no longer smell him, and then I'll make a dash for it. Without an escort this time. Donnie! Bah! Some thug from Side Seal he was! All balls, no brains, you know. Perfect set of qualities to lead me past them zombies, I figured. Figured right, I did, until we met them goblins. Now you can have balls bigger than that bull over there, but it takes a fair bit of wit and cunning to beat a goblin at the hunting game. And Donnie, I tell ya, the simple soul would have believed you if you told him eggs grow on eggplants. <laughs> like Not it, that your typical mining settlement is Silver Glen. You know the kind. Rough and tumble shacks, rough and tumble workfolk. 
and a handful of women that let their petticoats drop to the floor the moment they see a shiny coin between your fingers. Ooh. A shiny day to you. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Dear me, slaughter, blood, this, this cannot be. We must do something. Maurice, darling, do something. No! Bit late for that, innit? Trust you to raise a moot point, Maurice. Oh, kind human, have mercy on us poor animals. Deliver us from certain death in horrid Silver Glen. Boys, Put you in a stew okay. if you don't hey, get mate? your act. Let's be down. So what? I ain't joining that party, mate. I'm off. Cheers and peace out. You'll want, but I'm Jim not interested. Frank, get Later. back here, you damn rabbit. Son of a my, my You dog. have my welcome. Now give it back and scarp her. What? You're soft of heart, are you? The poor deers shouldn't be killed. I should just give up on the gold they'll fetch me. Well, say no more. Seriously. Shut it. You think I risk life and limb for a bit of beef and mutton? Either you pay me in gold, or you leave me alone before all this chatter attracts the damn goblins. In the end, you can't skewer them you all. You think I was born yesterday, or summon? No use trying your pathetic logic on me. Gold speaks louder than words, buddy-o. Well, well, well. The wee wabbit went away, eh? How wonderful. Blast your eyes. That cursed... What the hell now? None of your fancy mind games will work, you hear? Either you pay for these animals, or you take a hike. They're yours for the money I was going to ask them blood bunglers in sacred stone. It'll be 1,300 gold. What do you say? Gods, I can picture Fair it. enough. You have a deal. We have a deal, so let us seal it. Here's your gold. Wonderful. Yes, come hand me that gold. Give it here. Give it here. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! They're yours now, and I'm legging it back to Psy Seal. One day, the hero of the hour, nay, the century. How agreeable it is to gaze upon you. My champion, I am in your debt. Maurice and I are infinitely grateful. May neither thine horns nor thine udders ever wither. Moo? Well said, my dear Maurice. Well spoken indeed. But what shall we do next? We can hardly travel with you, now can we, kind hero? Perhaps we could seek those legendary pastures that nasty creature other Roy described. They may well be real, for a man such as he hasn't the imagination to dream up such a lovely place. Though perhaps it is safer and more convenient simply to return to Sysail. Follow your dream, I say. Seek those pastures. Agreed. May you find your paradise. Yes, I had hoped you would say that. Oh, this is dizzyingly exciting. Maurice Dumplin, let us embark on a thrilling adventure forthwith. That is how you complete this side quest. I decided to tie it in with this uh, video since it was close by the troll father and son. So uh, anyways, here's the uh, two choices. If you did cautious, they'll be back at Psy Seal. You can visit them there. Now, if you're like me, you picked the bold choice at one point. The uh, location that you did send them. Well, uh, guess what, everyone? They'll be there. So uh, next thing we're going to do before I end the video is going to Silver Glen. And I'm going to identify all those items I did get. Now, uh, when I uh, hit level 16... In the future, all my identifications will be on a certain NPC and they'll be off screen. I'll just show you all the items I did get. Still, I am curious if it was well worth the uh, trip. So let's uh, go inside the shop. I usually like to pick this one since I have a 100% uh, star ring with this uh, guy, which is a wonderful thing. Let's uh, go ahead and check all this out. Okay, that's already identified. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to sell that. I don't use staffs. 
Uh, bow and arrow. Okay, I have a better one that's 166 in damage. Oh, well, that's a pretty decent. I just gotta sharpen it up. It'll be a much better weapon. Let's see here. We'll do that. Oh, that's a decent helmet. Uh, one's going bye-bye. Yeah, okay. That is actually uh, immunity to blind. Nice. Oh, wow. This is uh, good. And let's see here. Oh, this is a nice robe. Yeah, I could probably see if I could give that to Jehan. Yeah, I will. No, to Librium, that's nice. Oh, wow. Speed, perception, and strength. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is good for my main guy. Immune to petrification. That's a good ring. Let's check the boots out. Jackpot! We got slow boots. Yes! And since I hit level 15, I'll go off screen and check the other shops. So, so far, that's three or four that has it. At this point in the game, try to get everybody with immune to slow boots. You're asking, why is that, Lord Fenton? Well, you see, there's a, another encounter that uh, a foe that constantly casts is slow. And you want that. If you do not get it, what's going to happen is, is yeah, all that uh, AP regeneration per round, you're going to suffer. Get that ASAP. And let's get out of the shop. And let's uh, go ahead and, of course, uh, check my equipment. See if I can have any use of it. Then do a nice recap. First of all, uh, okay, we're not going to use that ring. It's the other ring I'm going to grab. Yeah, this one. I, I'm i only using speed and strength on this guy and uh, constitution. Those are my, my three main stats. Strength is the top priority, obviously, on this guy. So he hits like a Mack truck. Okay, let's see if she could use that. Actually, she can. Oh, wow. That is a nice weapon. And, yeah, uh, rapiers. Yeah, you could use those daggers skills so they count that as a dagger and there I could definitely use those because it says the requirement knife in the main hand which I do have one let's check she could use the bow and yeah I'm gonna switch the boots out give my guy the best one give her the second best one and then uh, give Jay Hondes so that's three out of four for immune to slowed that's a good thing. Also, I'm coming back to the desert. So, guess what, everyone? I'm going to benefit fully from that. And let's uh, go ahead and check her out. I think she don't need it. She's you know, more of a strength, dexterity, intelligence. Uh, put a few points in strength on equipment. But, like the rest, I'll uh, get, put intelligence in there. Probably focus mainly on intelligence. Jehan, I'll probably uh, do dexterity and intelligence. As for our Huntress, she's going Dexterity all the way. You see, you got to have at this point a stat plan, or I say stat roadmap. Oh, wow. That's some good loot I did get for this uh, video. I'll sell that all that off screen. So once I'm done messing around with the uh, loot from the Troll King's Cave, which was a very good uh, run, I will admit, it, and then I'll uh, start to do a recap. First thing I did was I opened up the uh, Earth Elemental Room, number one. Number uh, two, went inside the Troll King cave before and after dispelling the illusion, clear out the Troll King's uh, guards, killed the Troll King himself, looted up the cave, met the Fire and Sun duel, told the Fire that you're the new king now. After that, complete a side quest that involves animals, and that was it. Well, I wanted to sit for my Divine Original Sin Hats Nation walk through the Troll King cave video. This is Laura Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestions on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestions on the bottom left-hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the barbecue.